For 2022, the main book I picked to read for the year is called Not Nice, Stop People Pleasing, Staying Silent, and Feeling Guilty, and start speaking up, saying no, asking boldly and unapologetically being yourself by Dr. Aziz Gazipur. I know the title of the book is such a mouthful. It's a very <laughs> long title, but then if you see the book, it just has not nice as the big heading of the book. Um, and I just wanted to share, you know, a major takeaway that I've gotten while reading um, this book. So the book is in the self-help category and I will most likely place it in the, the psychology section as it involves some, you know, rewiring, learning, unlearning, relearning. And um, according to the author, some parts of the book is dedicated to helping the reader see what nice really means and the toll that living that way takes on the reader's body. That's helping see how rooted in fear our nice patterns, in quotes nice, are and how it's different from being a good and loving person. In other chapters of the book, you get to see uh, the five pillars of not nice. Uh, one which is have boundaries, the second which is own your shadow, third is speak up, fourth is say no, and the fifth is be more selfish. So in these chapters, the reader will get to pick just a lot of tools and strategies that would help them let go of guilt, fear and hesitation and a lot of other things. And other chapters in the book then cover how to live life on your own terms, reclaiming who you are, deciding what's right for you, how you want to live and determine your own rules. Because we make up all these rules or we live by these rules and we've never questioned or gone back to see, huh? Why do we think this way or why do I believe in this rule or why do I stick to this rule? And in this book, uh, there's some tips or there's some tools that the author presents that just helps you to review all those rules. You know, that, oh, I must this or I should this or I, this is what I have to. But then it helps you actually look at what do you truly believe for yourself what are your values what do you uh, stand for and instead of you know what you've grown up with or whatever conditioning you've been you know given or the conditioning that you've been through then uh, later chapters in the book cover action which uh, for me is a major takeaway from this book because no matter how many times you read the book no matter how many times you highlight it or if you like take notes if you don't take action and if you don't have a you know whatever it takes mindset about effecting changes in your life with lessons from this book then it's honestly just really a waste really last chapters that focus on action um, they have activities games and exercises in them that get you to take action right away and give a clear step-by-step -step framework to put everything that you've learned um, into practice so as i said this is my main book for the year so it doesn't mean it's the only book i'm reading but it's one of the it's, it's the book that i've chosen that no matter what even when i get you know distracted this is the book that by the end of the year i know i have to finish i mean on my <laughs> on my digital shelf i have like probably six other books that i've come across and maybe skipped through here and there skimmed through here and there but this particular book it was something that i wanted to also be able to apply to my life uh to be able to apply to my personal life my professional life you know all aspects of my life um, and just seeing that you know certain things could be better certain things could be more authentic really so I just um, picked it up and decided that no matter what this is one of the guides that I would be using um, this year and I just thought to share um, you know maybe there might be somebody out there too that might be looking for a resource on you know just not being so nice or not nice in, in in quotes really and just 
being an authentic person good person you know probably they want to just stop people pleasing whatever it is so i just thought to share that um this book that i'm reading is a helpful resource i'm not done reading it um maybe when i'm done i might be able to give like a proper proper uh rating of the book and see how it actually is you know actually would help me and i know it's not just a walk in the park because there's certain habits that we've built you know we've been raised with conditioned uh, to and it's just going to take a lot of work to say hey this does not make sense anymore i'm going to adopt this new habit i'm going to adopt this new way of living and um, i think the basic thing is just to have that awareness really and i think you're 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 all set really so yeah that's my uh major takeaway on this book that i'm reading and i'm just curious to know um what you guys are reading this year uh even if it's just one book that you're reading really um and how has that book uh, helped you i mean it doesn't even have to be self-help to really it could be fiction how has that also helped with your uh, creativity or your imagination or just learning about history uh just let me know in the comments or you know if you have like personal contact with me you know where to find me and we can just discuss more about this too so yeah all right thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um and if you have got some value out of this content please let me know if this was helpful to you or um if you also have something else that you would also want us to um, discuss in the channel all right thanks bye mm -hmm.